Hey, we're Harry and Nikki, and this time last year we converted our 17-seater minibus into a tiny home on wheels. We took it around 11 countries in Europe this summer, and we are now home in the UK for winter. And our plan is to save as much money as we can for our next trip in the new year. If you haven't watched our van build vlogs or European vlogs, then go head over there. But apart from that, welcome to our little van life community. Hey! And welcome to this week's video of our van life adventures. So in this video, we're going to talk about all of the meals that we cooked and prepared in our van when we were away in Europe. So we've got some awesome like one pot meals that we're going to share with you guys. They're really just quick and easy, but they're also really tasty. Yeah, they're I, so good. I don't really know why I'm talking too much about it because you did most of the cooking when we were away. <laughs> I think most people know that from watching it. That I'm a bit of a fraud to sat here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm a bit of a foodie, so I love like creating dishes um, that are yummy but also healthy and nutritious. And so we're going to share them with you now. So the first meal we'd like to talk about is a one pot Mexican chorizo beef mince rice dish. So it's got all of the Mexican vibe things in it. So sweet corn, peppers, rice, chorizo and beef mince. But yeah guys, it's super yummy. We made it load so we've got some footage of it. Yeah, and we normally served it with um, nachos and like a little salad. We always have like a salad bag in the fridge or some tomatoes or something like that. A little bit of balsamic vinaigrette with it and that's what we loved. We actually also put it in wraps. We did. Really yummy. Yeah, yeah, we did. So one of our favourite parts of van life is definitely parking up on the beach or with a sick view and cooking an awesome meal for cheap because it feels like you're in a five star restaurant with the view you get, but for like two pound a person. So yeah. it's actually pretty awesome. It is. So all of the recipes we're going to be discussing on this video, I have made little recipe cards for you guys and they'll be put at the end of the video so you can just pause it, take a picture on your phone and do it yourself if you really want. So when we were away in Italy guys, we bought so much pasta because it was so cheap and then we got to the Netherlands and we had so much pasta left over <laughs> that we got kind of obsessed with our second meal which is a blue cheese pasta. Normally we had it with like spinach and bacon on top and sometimes tomatoes. and tomatoes. Mm. But yeah, really filling. blue cheese, if you're a bit of a fan of a bit of blue cheese, I'm not even too much of a fan of it normally. No, me neither. I wouldn't have it on crackers, but I'd have it in pasta. But yeah, it, is, it was so good. It was so cheap, so quick and easy to make. And Nikki's going to tell you what was in it. So the blue cheese is the ingredient that made it really creamy. Um, but other than that, it's just the basics. So a little bit of onion cut up with some garlic powder, throw in some chopped cherry tomatoes, fry up some bacon to add that bacony, fatty goodness in there. Cook the pasta, save some of that starchy pasta water and add it in with your tomatoes and onions. Then add the pasta in, add some blue cheese in, mix it all up, add that little bit of starchy pasta water and some spinach, let it boil down and you're good to go. Mm. So our third easy meal to make in a van isn't really such a meal, it's more of like a snack. We had it for lunch quite a lot, yep. but you can basically... One of my really big vendettas in van life is that people say you need a toaster or you need something to toast your bread on. You don't. You can use a frying pan, bit of butter on each side of the bread, chuck it down for a couple of minutes, yeah, and it easy. is even better than yeah, toasted bread. Yeah, it tastes bread. so much better. Now we do that at home now because it's just so much nicer. Honestly. Especially on like a bit of sourdough. So good. Mm -hmm. But anyway, our third meal is bruschetta. We end up in Europe just buying so many fresh vegetables and stuff, and they can stay out of the fridge. So if you don't want to keep your fridge or cool box on, you can just keep the vegetables out and make a delicious bruschetta. Bruschetta. Um, but yeah, also like avocado on toast and stuff like that. We rinse stuff like that while we were away mm. in Europe. So it's easy, so quick, so wholesome, so yummy. So cheap. Exactly. So yeah, mm. I mean, that's an easy one to make. So make sure you're cooking that on the road. Another thing is stir fries. I mean, they're obvious, so I'm not going to go into too much detail with this. Whatever veggies you have left, if they're going off, bung them in the pan with some onions, bean sprouts and noodles or a packet of rice. Fry it off with some soy sauce, honey, salt and pepper, uh, a little bit of chilli powder and you've got yourself a really nice stir fry. If you're not vegan or veggie, add a little egg, scramble it up, make a pad thai vibe. But we did that so many times, added some prawns sometimes, added chicken, coriander. The world is your oyster, so mm. just go crazy with your leftovers and I always think a stir fry is good for leftovers. And an honourable mention, guys, is how much we missed while we were on the road potatoes because we didn't have an oven. That when we got potatoes from a friendly farmer in Croatia, um, we actually chopped them up really small and had them with like a fry up in the morning. Just fried them off. And they were so good. They were so good. They had were like them with some beans. Little and replacement, egg. like hash brown thing. Yeah, like. they are. So, Lots of salt. 
make sure you use your potato to cut that small and fry them up. Like yeah, you could even, if you have a grater, grate them, squeeze all the juice out of them and then pat them down in the pan and fry them like a hash brown. You should have done that. Yeah, that was too much effort. <laughs> but if you're feeling it, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> And our last meal is a curry. So a one pot curry is the easiest thing you could do and it's so nutritious. So I make quite a healthy curry recipe basically using a tin of chopped tomatoes and Greek yogurt to make it creamy and obviously curry powder. You can add loads of spices separately like cumin, turmeric, chilli powder but if you just buy one little jar of curry powder that is all you'll need. Um, the types of things we had in our curries, we had loads of different things. We had a lot of curries. Chickpeas, spinach, um, we had sweet potato, just cut the sweet potato up really small so it doesn't take too long to cook. Um, we had chicken in one of them. Yeah, yeah we curries the only, are good. The only van lifers that aren't vegan. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully you guys have got a better idea of what we ate on the road yeah. and what you guys can do for such little money and it can still be really yummy. I think people think that you have to slum it a bit when you're living in a van, especially with food and you have to spend all this money on going out and eating out. But honestly, we just had a two burner hob and that was it. And that's what we used. And a whole lot of love. We had no oven, nothing like that. So you really can just make food on the hob and a lot of it. So Yeah, live like kings and queens in your van, maybe. Kings and that's all we are. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we will see you guys later. See you next week. We will be bringing out another video. But yeah, make sure you guys do go follow us on Instagram. Yeah. Check that out because we're going to be leaking some information on our next trip. Leaking. Leaking. Ooh. Um, and thank you for all the new subscribers we've had recently. The last bang, two bang. weeks we've gone up by a thousand subscribers or something like that. So Team. welcome guys. And we can't wait to show you our next adventures. So stick around for them. And we'll see you next week. See you later. Bye. Bye. Fry it off. Soy sauce, honey. Oh, woof. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> bon appetit. Bon appetit.